Hello! Hi everyone! How are you doing? Welcome! Hi, hi! Hello, Rexy! Hello, Tiberian! Hello, Lord Pace! Welcome, Zarya! Welcome, Kate! Welcome, Rancor! Hello, Selvi! Hello, Retouch Officer Hot Pants, Leo and Ken! Welcome, guys! Welcome, everyone! How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day! Welcome! Goblin Lamia? Oh, because of the green! Because of the green! Yeah, no, I was doing the white... Uh, for I was... Obviously, I was working on this before the stream because <laughs> the the stream the waiting room wasn't late because uh, the drawing was taking a little while. Obviously, uh, I was I was totally not finishing the lines the last minute today. <laughs> uh, but they're done now, and now I'm doing the flat colors. Um, and so that's why you're seeing it green right now. But welcome, guys. How is everyone doing? Kate, I see that you're going to be lurking. I hope you have a good lurk. Good lurk, lurk. Um, I'll be drawing along with you, Ellie. I'm glad to hear that, Rexy. I hope that your drawing goes well. And hopefully faster than mine. <laughs> Lord Peace, hello, I'm good. How are you? I am good. Hello, Ellie. I see you dropped the vampire idea and went for a <laughs> Stop it! Um, can't wait for Halloween to start. Sorry, why? Are you gonna do anything special for Halloween? What are your plans? I don't celebrate it, so it's just like, eh. You know, I've been, at most, I've been trying to get into the mood by watching some, um, not necessarily horror, but more uh, spooky themed movies in the weekend i watched nope because i'm a really big fan of jordan peele's work and i watched american psycho because i do need to continue with my uh, pop culture education uh of you humans and your traditional classic uh movies that were very very well um critiqued I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I mean. Um, looking forward to this one. How are you doing? Might as well chat for a bit. Oh, nice. You were trying to chat. That's nice. The pain of working 12 hours. Yeah. Leo, I'm so freaking sorry. I'm so sorry this is happening. So, Halloween in four days. Three in Japan time. And my Halloween drawing is basically not started. Today I will get... Uh, I will yet again try to draw while watching the stream. And most likely will again not get any progress done. I wish you good luck. I hope you get better progress than you uh, than you expect. I hope that you will be pleasantly surprised by your progress. I also really hope that I will be pleasantly surprised by my progress. I need to have uh, the drawing practically done by the time I'm but it, by the time I end it today. Uh, and by that I mean I need to have all of the flats and some of the basic, uh, some of the basic parts colored completely. At least the skin and, uh, the tail, I, I hope that I'll have completely, uh, painted. Maybe the eyes, maybe hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, this is what I, this is what I've got so far. This is what I have so far. I know. Not looking amazing as far as progress goes, but look at the line art. Do you like how the line art ended up looking? I think it. I think it came out really nice. I think it came out really nice. Uh, now I have to decide on colors, and that is gonna be a problem. Um, your line work is so damn good, though. But it took me way too long. I think I wish uh, it had been slower. But um, I mean, faster and a little bit less polished because i swear to god the amount of time the the mental anguish of not having this done earlier i really freaking wanted to have it done a lot faster and it's just it's just been hard because i get into the the perfectionist zone and oh let's let's hide that again because it's annoying me um the uh the 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 problem with having something like, yeah sure i end up really loving the quality but at what cost at what cost the mental anguish of just 
knowing that I'm running out of time to do this and I'm still not close to done. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Also, I'm gonna need a different color for the cape and the corset now that I think about it because this is also gonna be cape. And it's gonna look very weird if it's the same color. So, probably shouldn't have these with the same color. This should probably be just its own color, like this. Um, you already know how my day went. As for right now, I'm really feeling like drawing, but still gonna... Uh, not really feeling like drawing, but still gonna doodle something. You don't need to draw if you don't feel like it. You really don't need to. I know that I encourage you guys to, but I also don't want you guys to push yourself to do something that you're not really interested in. Because you shouldn't, um, you shouldn't force yourself just for the, for the completion of it, I guess. Uh, I need to force myself because it's like, yeah, it's kind of like what I do. <laughs> but you don't really need to. Um, Halloween is still in the lead. It, it is, it is. I am very sad to admit that it is in the lead. But hopefully, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to post this. Uh, at night. Uh, hopefully I will be able to post, post this at night. And be ahead of Halloween for a couple of days, right? It would still be a couple of days, I think. Okay. Also, I know that I wasn't fully convinced about the outfit. But now that I've given it, like, I gave this chains, uh, thingies. Not exactly chains, but I gave it, like, some sort of a design. And then with this being polished and with the decision of making the um, the fabric of the sleeve see-through, I think it has a nice amount of like texture and pattern play that I think it's looking nice. I think I'm satisfied. Oh, that is way too dark. That's better. Yeah, that's that's better. Still on the way too dark kind of like uh, side of the equation, but it's not bad. Okay, and now the actual bad decision has to happen. First, what am I gonna do with the nails? Am I gonna paint them black? Second, what are we gonna do about the color of the dress? What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be red? Should it be red? Like a wine red? Not like a red, blah red, but a wine kind of Bordeaux. You know, like getting getting real fancy with the wording. Uh, hope you're having a good, uh, lovely day, Ellie. Sophie, I'm having a, I'm having a kind of like, you know, gotta get, gotta get on the, uh, gotta get in the lead. Gotta get in the lead between uh, Halloween and me. So I'm kind of like rushed in a way. Um, I had McDonald's for lunch, QPC, and two apple pies with caramel milk to drink. Um, I don't know what you mean QPC because I read that and uh, I know that it's not exactly the same thing. Oh, quarter pound something. Is it? Is it quarter pound? Quarter pound cheeseburger. Is that what it means? Because immediately my brain went to uh, quarter circle forward. Like that's that's what I saw the the, the letters Q and C together in a three letter uh, in a three letter anagram or whatever you're supposed to call it. And my brain immediately got into uh, fighting game uh, nomenclature mode because you guys are always helping me with that. <laughs> Mm, uh, see, my line isn't that... My line isn't that uh, tidy. I am recognizing because there are some floating dead pixels which I cannot allow. I may not allow that. There we go. There we go. I know that it seems like I uh, fuss over very tiny details, but if I don't clean them up when I see them, I will completely forget that they are there, and they will uh, be a lot worse for me later on. So I think it's important that I fix it as soon as I find it. Whenever I see something like a dead pixel, a dead floating pixel, those are really important. Um, I had to drive everywhere to find caramel syrup. Is it not common? That's 
weird. It sounds like it should be a fairly easy to find kind of additive, right? Um, and look at all those clean lines and they are so beautiful. I do not think people understand how big of a deal this is until they try to draw liner by themselves. I uh, completely 100% agree that people don't know how hard it is to make clean lines until they try. But I also, I also wish I didn't care that much when I'm doing art myself. Because I swear, the time that I spend on it, is it even worth it? I like messy lines, maybe more. Like the problem is that I don't know how to let go and do them myself, but I actually legitimately think I like messy lines more than my clinically uh, dry, perfected line work. I will admit that I have good line work. I put a lot of effort into getting good line work to happen, but also, is it worth the effort and the time? I would say no. <laughs> I would I would say that it is. <gasps> That's a dead pixel right there. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Okay, where are I, where was I? Okay, for now. For now, that's fine. Let's do the let's do the black nails because I think I need you guys to be uh, offering ideas for the color or of the dress while I'm talking and sort of catching up with the chat. I'm giving you guys some time while I while I take my time to catch on to the chat so that you guys can give me your opinions on the color of the dress, for example. Uh, never wore a costume in my life. I mean, I definitely have. But I still wouldn't say that it was specifically to help celebrate Halloween or... I guess sometimes it's been on Halloween, but it's not... It's not like we actually celebrate Halloween. It's more like you, we use it as an excuse to throw costume parties if we feel like it. My sister is a very big fan of using Halloween as an excuse to uh, put costumes. Uh, to throw costume parties, but she calls it... What does she call it? She doesn't call it Halloween and she celebrates it in November. <laughs> so something like Afterween or something like that. Uh, like so something like that. We or Laterween or something. Because uh, she... Again, we don't care about Halloween. We really don't care. But we do like the excuse. And we completely divorce it from the whole, ooh, spooky horror thing. We just do whatever the freak we want. <laughs> okay. Okay. With that done, uh, I could do this. Boop, boop, boop. This should be quite easy because there are no hard edges. So it should be quite easy for the what magic wand to select. There we go. Um, you're calling already. Yeah, I advanced the lines on my own so that I didn't do another stream that was just me doing lines. <laughs> but it did take me way too long. I wondered if I was getting a little bit burnt out of art, actually, because it was taking just so freaking long to draw anything. But I am going to take a break and almost no time at all the second week of november so that's probably gonna be what i need uh we wanted to watch american psycho you should have watched it with her i didn't know i had no idea yeah i try to give myself some uh every now and then i try to give myself some pop culture education because like i'm gonna admit that the movies that catch my eye are mostly the newer ones right because the cinematography is better, uh, the cameras are better, the uh, special effects, everything. Like, as technology advances, has a uh, much higher chances of being better. But uh, that doesn't mean that the quality of the movie overall is better. And I do sometimes try to go back into pop culture icons and try to make sure that I catch them. That is a mistake. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, is that a mistake? Does it even matter? I don't think it does. I'm gonna clean it up, but I don't think that mistake matters. Okay, so now I have only 
two things. Now I have only two things to define. Okay, we have only this. Okay, we have only these leaves, which are gonna be the same color as the dress, right? But the dress and the 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 dress is gonna be solid, and the sleeves are gonna be transparent on the same tone. And we have the cape, which I I guess it should be black. But is there any other color that I could use that would work on it? That is a question that I'm trying to solve. Uh, let me try to catch up with the chat. Um, a little ghost? I thought it was floating squid for a second. No, it's a little ghost. Your liner is like 11 out of 10, and it was probably not worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that it isn't, because yes, it is, because I spent this long on it. But I am gonna say it was, uh, I would choose to... If I could stop being a perfectionist and not worry too much about it, I would choose that. Uh, I'm gonna make a folder for the eye color. And uh, what do you guys think about doing like proper vampire red eyes? I know that my eyes are blue, but you know, it's vampire, it's Halloween, it's maybe an opportunity to go a little bit crazy and get myself some red ruby eyes. Um, I haven't celebrated Halloween for a while, not once. For a while or not once? Ever or never? Uh, actually, I just said the same thing, ever or never. Um, Halloween isn't a thing in my country, it doesn't change the fact that it's a big event in art, stream, and game communities. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, it doesn't change the fact because as I said many times, I just don't care for it Considering that Halloween... Here's the thing, here's the thing And some people, uh, particularly those in the southern hemisphere with me, might feel this way But like, Halloween is predicated... The entire vibe of Halloween is predicated on two things One, horror and spooky things Since I don't like neither horror nor spooky things that is completely lost on me. I just don't care about it at all. Two, um, autumn and like the the fall kind of mood. Here's the thing about that: we in the southern hemisphere are entering spring, so like Halloween is all ooh fall, autumn leaves and pumpkin spice. And look at these pumpkin gnocchis, aren't they beautiful and super seasonal? It's like, not for me! No, it isn't! You know what I feel? The warmth, the pollen of the flowers triggering my allergies. That's what's getting triggered here on, on this part of the world. <laughs> so I feel very disconnected from Halloween because no matter how I look at it, no matter what... I find on the internet that is like Halloween themed it just doesn't resonate with me at all this year I'm a little bit more excited than normal because this is the year of Dracula daily and so I could connect with it through the vampire lens uh, and I have been enjoying it through that lens like yeah vampires spooky Dracula season yeah great I can connect with that but uh, everything else is just like Absolutely not interesting to me. I do not need to celebrate myself. October still gets uh, the best in game events. There's a lot of super exciting art and streamers love it. Seriously? You think? Wait, you think it's better than Christmas season, for example? <laughs> I'm such a Christmas simp that I just... I can't... I, I prefer the Christmas season. But I guess Christmas season doesn't necessarily have Christmas games attached to it. While... Halloween season does have horror games, so it is more of a streamer seasonal event season thing. <gasps> oh, that is a lot of dead pixels. Oh my god! What did I... What did I do while I was doing the dress? This is a disaster. That is four different dead pixels. Gross! Gross, gross, gross! Where is it? Where is it? What layer is it in? Oh, it's not even here. Where is it? Where? Where the fuck are those? Oh, okay, okay. Three of them are here. Uh, 
Okay. And you? You? Where are you? Where are you? What? What happened here? Wait, seriously, where the... Ah, okay, there we go. It was in the very last layer that I obviously, obviously was in the very last layer that I checked because of course, because why not? Um, crimson nails? We could try for crimson nails, but I kind of don't want to because I want to have blood dripping from them. So it wouldn't uh, contrast enough. I prefer wine red. I think it's, I think it's probably going to be wine red too. Skullgirls broke her a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I tried to erase the heart and bend the paper. Oh no! I hate it when that happens. Line work is the bane of my sanity. It is very hard. It is very hard. And it's why it takes me so long. And my sanity erodes too. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh my god, I can't imagine what work went through with those extra smooth pixel perfect liner. I, it was way too long of a process. <laughs> I tried crimson fangs and white dark blue uh white dark blue dress white dark blue wait what do you mean white dark blue dress do you mean white dress because i really did think about doing i really did think about doing white dress as an option i thought it could be an interesting um I thought it could be an interesting color combo to have white dress. But I do, I will try the wine. <gasps> no dead pixel shall remain. Um, oh my God. And again, look at all those mistakes. Look at all those mistakes that nobody's gonna notice except me. Oh, but I will, and it is gonna torture me. So that matters. Um, I will definitely try the wine, the wine red though. I want to try your suggestions, but I will most definitely try the wine red. Um, Halloween isn't a thing here at all. Instead, we have All Saints, where we visit family graves. Yeah, I mean, same. We don't have Halloween at all, except we don't have anything to replace it either. Um, and stores really do try to join in the Halloween thing and they decorate and they try to send you extra candy and extra decorations and stuff But uh, it hasn't worked <laughs> Like we just don't care enough to fall for it and we don't necessarily buy anything Halloween related just because it's Halloween season It just doesn't work on us um, So that would be that and then on this side we have this edge you might be wondering why did i switch from using the magic wand to uh painting the outline the reason is because of this this would be a nightmare to select with magic wand so might as well do the outline method where first i paint the outline that i that i'm interested in filling and then I go in with the magic wand in the color layer instead of in the lines layer. Um, I prefer to play or watch some horror movie, I guess, for Halloween, like, late in the night. I would never. I would absolutely never do that and never will. Uh, your love is a lot cuter than it has any right to be. No! What? No! Don't compliment! Don't don't compliment my love for now. I'm gonna start thinking about it. No, I'm gonna be conscious of it. Stop. Um, hit the like button, by the way. Thank you, Zario. Today, I'm taking my while to get to the bottom of the chat. I hope that's okay. Do you guys want me to speed it up? Do you guys want me to speed up the, the catching up with the chat? Um, Night of the Hunter is the oldest film. I really like it has what I would call modern cinematography. Could you post it on the Discord? It sounds pretty cool. If it's if it's horror, I still might not watch it though. But uh, it sounds pretty cool. Hunters as a figure normally make the story very very exciting. I mean, 
again with Dracula, but Dracula becomes a lot more interesting the moment that, uh, like, the hunt for vampire starts. Like, when the characters turn from having to deal with Dracula to, oh yeah, Dracula's gonna have to deal with us now, you know? Actually, I wouldn't say that it gets more exciting, but it gets more adrenalinic. It gets uh, a, a very different kind of enjoyment. Uh, last movie I watched was Ralph Breaks the Internet, and it was cringe against cinematography, uh, a crime against cinematography. When making a sequel to a masterpiece, it's obviously difficult, but they completely ruined it. From a cinematography point, I don't remember it being bad, though. Like, I don't remember the shots being bad. I remember liking the jokes about the algorithm. Uh, I thought the plot was kind of like meh. Uh, I didn't like some of the, some of the, like, convoluted reasonings to how to solve the plot. But I did like the representation of the algorithm being, uh, the yes with the secretary of maybe. I thought it was a very fun way of illustrating how completely bonkers and illogical algorithms can be. How unpredictable and how like nonsensical it can be and how trying to fish for virality is like it's never going to be an exact science I don't know I like that but maybe because I've I'm too imbued in that world you know and of course I like the princesses I really like the princesses. I know, I know, people say that it's cringe or whatever, but uh, Cinderella breaking her glass slipper and using it to threaten someone as if it was a bar fight is iconic, and I will hear nothing against it, okay? I will not hear anything against that. It was a genius fucking joke, and probably one of my favorite parts of the entire movie. Uh, I don't know if I remember much more about that scene, but Cinderella <laughs> breaking her slipper and using it as a broken bottle in like a bar fight, just mwah, genius. Ge whoever came up with that, absolutely magnific. And that should be it for the outline of the dress. Now we can do this and that. And wait, 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 wait. Oh, now I can do this and that. That's better. And we dilate it for like three pixels should be fine. Let's do four just in case. Four should be fine. Yeah, it's it's perfectly fine. I don't know if I'm gonna like white. I don't know if I'm gonna like white as an idea, but then we would have the cape being crimson, right? Or like red wine. Uh, wine red, sorry, not red wine. Can I actually, that's gonna be a very hard color to get on my own. Let me just grab wine red color palette. Let's see if I can find a color that I like from a palette site. By the way, if any artists out there ever struggle with color palettes, there are so many great color palette websites that um, have user-generated palettes. This one, for example, is a nice one. This one, for example, is pretty nice. That is, that is pretty much what I was thinking actually something like this or something like uh yeah something like this for the cape and the sleeves maybe no the sleeves will have to be white i think um i think you'd like vampire bloodlines if you tried it the game i probably would i really like vampires I don't even know what pumpkin spice is. As much as I understand it, it has a lot to do with cinnamon. But I may be confused. Um, I recommend you watch the Vincent Price, Edgar Allan Poe movies. They're masterpieces that stand the test of time. Only if they're not too horrific, because I know that Poe can get pretty intense. What am I doing? Where am I doing this? Where am I painting this? 
I'm gonna do clothes, another layer for clothes. I'm gonna do clothes two and see where that leads me. Should be under pretty much everything. Pretty much everything should be on top of it. You know it's pumpkin and not pumpkin, right? I mean, sure. Do I pronounce it pumpkin? Do I pronounce it uh, with a pronounced G at the end or something? Um, getting an early start on your Christmas art? I don't want to. <laughs> I'm already saturated with this piece. I don't know if I can pull off a Christmas art because I have so many other things that I need to do. I have so many other things that are important to do. And I don't want to keep uh, putting focus on art that I that I, I will use very little. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do not regret... Don't get me wrong, I do not regret doing this art. I'm very happy with how it's looking. I mean, look at this! It's looking so cool! But... But I will use it. Like, once. <laughs> and the fact that it's taking me this long to do art that is gonna have so little use... Is a little bit... Much. You know? Um, of, also, officer, were you here when I said hello to you? Did I say hello to you? Welcome, hi, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Also, retouch, welcome, hi, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Ha! Huh? Bet you didn't see that coming. A second, second hello! A second hello! Out of nowhere! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Pumpkin spice is the spices in pumpkin pie, and sometimes pumpkin is included. But what spices are, is that? What spices are those? Nether, welcome! Hi, hello! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day! Never ha had pumpkin pie either. I wonder if I have. I wonder if I have ever. I know that I have a bottle of pumpkin spice uh, that once uh, this 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 family that's coming from the U.S. Um, literally this weekend they arrived this weekend. I know that uh, I said that I was gonna take the second week off and I still intend to, but that is because. Um, that is because even though they arrive this weekend, they're going to be spending the first week with other family in a different part of... Like, it, it, where it's gonna be complicated for me to see them, basically. Uh, 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 uh. What am I doing? I'm doing... Uh, clothes too. Oh, this one. Uh, but anyways, yeah, they're arriving soon. I'm very excited for it. And that's also why I've been very busy lately and canceling sometimes and kind of like all over the place because we've been prepping. Anyways, what was I saying? I was saying that they once brought us a bottle, a bottle of pumpkin spice. And I have to, I have to say, I wasn't very surprised or very impressed by it. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is uh, life changing. I was like, this is cinnamon with sugar. This is, this is just cinnamon and sugar. I could, I could get myself a mix of the cinnamon and sugar and it would taste exactly the same. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't see what's the big thing about it. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Um, Christmas in game events are dog. Usually centered around spending. You get an interesting one here or there, but Halloween always gets the best time to gain a uh, conversion rate. I would assume, yeah, it's hard to make a Christmas... Here's the thing, here's the thing. It's hard to make a Christmas game. Because what are... What are the things that represent Christmas that aren't... Well, let's say polemic, right? 
because Christmas by now it's not just a religious holiday but you get people who will get offended if you make a Christmas game that isn't religious or like has hints at religion but you would also get uh, people upset if it is about religion because a bunch of people like me celebrate it completely separate from religion um, and also what is the spirit of Christmas do you make a game that is literally just like every Christmas movie where a, a business career oriented woman goes into a little countryside house and th realizes that life is much more than just her career because she meets a child that, that teaches her the meaning of Christmas and that child happens to have a very hot uncle that happens to be single and uh, you know, th what I'm saying is there are like three Christmas storylines and they are very cliche and they are very uninteresting uh, and when you try to do something interesting you have to uh, kind of like evaluate how much you want to go into religion versus secular and 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 both options are gonna piss people off <laughs> so i guess it is harder to make uh christmas content than it is to make halloween content what is just like it's horror it's spooky that's it you don't like it you know it it's it's that simple Uh, the red eyes kind of look uh, like a uh, possession that they're not gonna like. That's also a vampire. What? What? What is more Yandere than a uh, uh, vampire? Well, actually, no. That's no. You know what? I'm not gonna do this. It's not. I'm not going to uh, simplify the iconic, folkloric figure of vampires to anime archetype. I refuse. I will not be doing that. Um, as much as I love Dragon Nest, chasing the Santa Auric was never fun. Thank you. Uh, thank God you could chase him with Argenta transformation. I used to play DN with a very, very close person at the time, and she loved the Santa Auric. I hated it always. I don't even know what that game is. Dragon Nest? What is that? I don't think it sounds familiar to me at all. Uh, I'd make blood drip from the teeth to the collarbone area to contrast the pale skin. I will absolutely do that, but I also want some blood on the claws. On the nails. Because I think that would, you know, really... Really add a nice touch of murder. Uh, blood thicker than water? Yes, blood is indeed thicker than water. Especially when it starts coagulating. Coag coagulating. Uh, white does sound good. I don't know if I'm super convinced by it, but we'll see when the we'll see when the cape and the and the sleeves are in. We'll see. Uh, more dark blue than white, but yeah. You think you think maybe replacing the the like switching the dark blue and the white? I don't know if that would work because I think this part, like this. Right here and the corset, I really think they have to be like a dark leather kind of texture in my in my honest opinion. Uh, to be honest, I didn't see no vampires wearing some white dress. They see red and black only. Uh, white, the, the magic of white on a vampire is that you can make the blood really contrast. You can give it a... You can give it a very nice contrast uh, with the blood if you make it... Um... There we go. Uh, if you make it white. Kevin, welcome! My hello! How are you doing, beautiful art? Thank you, Kevin! How are you doing? How have you been? I hope you're having a good day! Um, you're actually way more on top of chat than you usually are. No way. Seriously? Seriously? On a day when I'm not trying to rush towards the chat? That is interesting. Wow, what is happening? You'll stop drawing if you do? Yeah, I will stop drawing if I do. That's why I'm trying to take it in a different direction today with the with the chat catching up. Um, Because I, I really don't want to lose too much time of the drawing. 
Uh, it's about a serial killer hunting two child witnesses. Oh, no! I'm not sure I'm into it anymore. When children are involved, I get a little bit antsy. <laughs> when children are involved, I get... Uh, which is the reason why... Uh, I'm... Do you ever... Wait. Okay, I know that I just said like four phrases without finishing either one of them. It will make sense at some point, I hope. Have you ever gotten a temptation to do something that you know is not going to be good for you? And like, you know you should very well choose not to do it, right? Like, you are perfectly aware that you have the option of not doing a thing and that that is way more healthy for you and it's not gonna give you any bad consequences but you are tempted to do the other thing that you know it's gonna be bad for you does that happen to anyone please tell me i'm not alone in this is is that something that you guys can um relate to at least every now and then um, if thinking about your love is bad, then definitely don't think about how cute your giggle is. Stop it! Stop it! Also, giggle? Do I giggle a lot? I think... I think... I don't know if I giggle a lot. Mostly I just laugh, right? I don't know. I associate giggling with like... Uh, like a very... Child... Childlike, shy expression of uh, awkwardness. That's what I. That's what I associate the word giggle with. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, maybe I. I am wrong. Okay. Selection. Let's do another four pixels. It is pretty vampire-like, however... Not sure... Not sure I'm super convinced. But that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna figure it out. I need the green back. Um... It's a black and white film from 1958. Oh, that old. When you said old, you meant old, old. You meant really old. Holy damn. I don't know if I can take black and white. I think I've only... I think I've only ever seen one movie in black and white. And no, not the modern one that won an Oscar uh, this last decade i can't remember but no i don't mean that one i mean like a like a like an older black and white movie okay so now i should handle the sleeves maybe maybe i should handle the sleeves yeah i'm gonna do the sleeves now Uh, that's, 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 that's something to fix. We are going to do this as a screen layer. To give it that nice, uh, translucent kind of look. But we're also going to hide pretty much every single color, right? Okay. Yeah, that's good, that's good. The second the rumor about the sequel appeared, I knew that they will try to show uh, Ralph and Vanellope get mad at each other as much as it doesn't make sense for them to. That's, that's where absolutely I agree with you. The plot was uh, very weak. The plot was extremely weak. I will watch IT Chapter 2, Pennywise. I haven't seen a horror clown, so if I get scared or not. It's, as far as I understand it, it is very scary. Like, it, Stephen King in general, as far as I understand, is one of those, like, extremely horrific authors. Um, also, I've chosen to stay in another game because she got bored of the arcade. Watch, she spent the whole first movie trying to get accepted. 
Yeah, that made no sense! That made no sense whatsoever! Maybe that's why my, my mo- like, the things that I remember the most about the movie are just, like, little jokes here and there that I appreciated. Um... Individual jokes were cool, but the movie as a whole was horrible. I like white a lot so far. Coincidentally, I'm also drawing a white short dress. You guys are liking the white? I hope that I'll be convinced with the sleeves. I really hope that I will be convinced once the sleeves are in. It might make or break it. You never know. You never know. Uh, bottom part being full white doesn't look the best. Again, uh, thought about it being more dark blue. But I- wait, 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 wait. I don't understand what, uh, what you mean with white, dark, blue. Do you mean, uh, dark blue instead of white? Or... Cause- cause it can't be white and also dark at the same time, right? Cause, like, white is the most light of all of the values. And then dark represents, like, the exact opposite of the value scale. <laughs> um, isn't white so bright it can make people blind? The thing about white Sario is that it reflects the... Basically, color. The way color works. Suddenly, science with Alicia. Um, basically, color are just reflections of the light waves that we get. So, we get light waves, and what you see when you see color is uh, light waves being reflected and light waves being absorbed. So, when you have colors like white or black, what happens is that the light waves being absorbed or reflected are the entirety of the light, uh, uh, the wave scale. In other colors, when you get like something that is a red color, the material is absorbing the red waves. Not the red waves, but the waves of a certain frequency. And when the material is reflecting every other frequency but that one, what your eyes perceive it as, oh no, that is the wrong layer, uh, what your eyes perceive that as is the color red. But with white, what your eyes is getting, uh, they are getting all of the waves. The entirety of the waves are getting reflected back. And just like that, when you have black, there are no waves being reflected because the material is just absorbing all of the light waves. And why did I say this? Again? Oh, because of the whole blind comment. Uh, yeah, that's why, like, uh, white can be dangerous because it is reflecting all of the power of the light, basically, to say it in a very stupid terms. It is reflecting all of that into your eyeballs. That is why you have to use uh, sunblock if you're gonna go into the snow. Because the snow is just going to be reflecting all of those light waves, sun ray waves, into your uh, delicate skin and your uh, delicate eyes. And you're not even gonna notice that it's like staring at the freaking sun. Uh... Decisions, decisions. I'm going to make. Well, I made the decisions before I had the chance to think about them. I was gonna say, like, oh, I'm gonna make this part solid, not transparent. But no, I drew it in a way that is very clearly transparent. So, uh, luck, uh making decisions now, I guess. Uh, a flowing cape of wine sounds pretty cool, actually. Wine bending. Would you like to have wine bending? Would you be able to turn water into wine? Would that be... Um, would that be problematic? If we could do that? Would you get in trouble? Um... I'm following a one tutorial from YouTube. Pick a base color and move it with, uh, move it on a triangle closer to the middle, dark or light, then shift the color a little in the direction of purple and repeat until you have enough shades. That sounds like a tutorial on how to have, uh, good shading colors. 
color theory is a nightmare. If you're trying to learn color theory, good luck to you. Because I studied it literally like five different times with five different teachers and techniques and everything. And I still feel like I don't get it. Color theory is just one of those things where you either get it or you don't, in my opinion. Because uh, I, as much as I've tried studying forever and ever and ever, I just cannot make it click. It just does not click in my little brain. Um, you say pumpkin? Well, I guess I discovered something about myself. Uh, Crooked Gamer, welcome! Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Hey, you, Alicia, what's crooking? Speaking of the princesses, uh, does everyone remember the scene in Robot Chicken where Merida from Brave fights Snow White? What the freak is Robot Chicken? Uh, I just meant that with all the red, white, and green, this piece looks more like Christmassy than Halloweeny. Oh, well, the green is not actually there. The green is just there to allow me not make mistakes in the coloring. You use the end with the back of your tongue when you need to use the end with the tip of your tongue. We're not gonna change that right now. <laughs> Retraining a tongue takes way too long. Also, my tongue is bifurcated, guys. Give me a break. <laughs> um, Seth, welcome. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. And hey, Seth, thank you for the donation the other day to the charity event. Uh, it really meant a lot. I don't feel confident in throwing my own charity events, but... Uh, being able to like help and be part of a charity meant a lot to me. So uh, I really really thank you for the uh, the other day um, It's a second second hello three hellos or four. I, I don't I don't know Don't ask me to calculate hellos. That is just a really weird way to do math You're not gonna trick me into doing math even if it is hellos and stream related um, cool kid VR! Uh, if you're still here, because I know that it takes me a while to get to the bottom of the chat, so I haven't seen you when you arrive, but if you're still here, welcome! Hi, hello! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Welcome, welcome. Also, it's the first time I see you here, so welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time. Um, I just changed my name. Oh. It is the first time I see you here with that name, but I had seen you the other day with the slightly different name. Uh, I don't remember what exactly was the difference. It was something different because I, I recognize it as different though. But welcome back! I hope you're having a good day! Leo, buenas! Buenas, Serena, no me puedo quedar mucho porque sigo elaborando, solo quería decirte que grabes el audio arrojando tu tablet en casa de que no termines el dibujo. Leo, la idea no es... La idea no es terminar el dibujo, no exactamente. La idea es llevarlo a un punto donde lo pueda terminar... Uh, antes de mañana a la noche. Pero básicamente tengo que tener un mm, buen progreso. Pero espero que tengas un buen día y que no te mate el laburo. Thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope that your work doesn't freaking kill you. I hope that, uh, wait, whoa, 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 wait a freaking second, if you're still here, which you might not be, because you said that you were going to be working, didn't you say you had two days off? No, you said that you had two days off. I am confused. I am very confused. I thought you had two days off. Pensé que tenías un par de días de descanso. Um... You don't want them to know you play a loot lamia on the internet. Oik? Oik? What does oik mean? Oh, I see. Wait, does it mean oh, I see? Like literally, if you were to write it in words, but you you read it, oh, I see. Buenas tardes, espero que si quieres terminar. Gracias, Leo! Don't give any pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkin, no, 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 pumpkin, spice, latte. She will never come back. Ah, uh, I wouldn't even like it, Nether, because latte has. Well, actually, I 
Actually, maybe not. I was gonna say, oh, I wouldn't like latte anyways because it has coffee. But actually, latte means leche, means milk. So a latte doesn't necessarily have to have coffee if you go by the actual naming of the drink itself. Granted, Starbucks has made people used to names that don't necessarily correlate to the drinks that are named a certain way. But still... Okay, so... How does that look? No, it looks too ghostly. It looks too ghostly. I don't think it works. I really don't think it works. Um, elf bowling was pretty good. What do you mean elf bowling? Alcoholism or car accidents represent Christmas pretty well. No, that is so mean spirited. Just joined this channel two days ago, so dab. Welcome, cool kid. I hope that you've been enjoying the two days. Um, I don't believe. Uh, blah blah blah. I'm back! Welcome back, Kate! Christmas game pitch! You need to drive your family back home while drunk. The more gifts you crush over, you gain bonuses, but you need to survive car accidents. I don't think I would enjoy a game like that! I think this is very mean! Yeah, this is good. This is a good layer to draw the medallion in. Now, here's, here's a funny thing about this medallion thing. I was thinking of doing... If you'll see the color palettes that I prepped, I was thinking of doing um, silver. Personally, my preference would be on silver. However, I might have to do gold because technically silver is associated with um, like being anti-vampire, which is not necessarily true because only pure silver or cold iron should be useful against uh, folkloric creatures and fae-like creatures. But you know, maybe. Maybe it's tacky to paint it silver. I just think silver would work better than gold for this color scheme. Personally. Poisonally. I think silver might be too drab as well. Like, maybe... Maybe we should go for gold. From a religious angle, Mystery of the Druids was a decent Christmas game. What is Mystery of the Druids? Tell me about it. Um, vampires are the Dark Souls, so young that is. No, vampires are their own thing. Pumpkin spice lattes are kind of coffee. I don't like coffee at all, so I wouldn't like it. Um, games often just reskin things to give the game a Christmas feel. Well, last year I played um, Visceral Cleanup Christmas mode and it was hilarious. So I think that the reskinning on a Christmas kind of like feel of a normal game, I think that works wonderfully. I personally enjoy it as a concept. Dragon Nest used to be the best action MMORPG out there, then they ruined it. You're, you're throwing big words at the World of Warcraft crowd. Uh, we should play Fight of Fight of Gods for Christmas. Maybe we could come bring V2. I don't know. I don't know any of the games you guys are mentioning this time around. <laughs> the only one that I recognize is when Tiberian said Vampire Bloodlines, and that is it. Everything else has been like, what? What is that? What? Where would that be? Um. Waste of blood, but you do you. Ah, uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> it just needs to look edgy. Um, not switching. Color is fine as dark blue. Corsair could have white stripes in the front and be dark on the sides. Chest part is fine as white. The skirt part being pure white is out of place. And uh, the way that I was thinking was that this. Oh wait, I need to do it on a different layer. The way, the way that I was thinking of is that this is a drawing, uh, a dress that continues here. So like this is all connected and therefore like one color. That's what I was thinking. Um, that's exactly why you wouldn't pick white as a vampire, especially for a vampire as messy as you seem to be. 
But you, if you want it to be scary and edgy, and you want people to know that you're a threat, you would pick white because it, it's gonna show everyone that you are that you're very scary. You know? Um, no witnesses. Yeah, no witnesses. We just kill them. Um, I face a temptation every time I open the refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, I got to that part of the conversation. Isn't it called an intrusive thought? I don't consider it an intrusive thought because an intrusive thought is more like um, things that come in the like in a moment and you immediately feel disgusted at them or like like an intrusive thought is saying, ah, oh, I'm in a very high place. Maybe I could just jump, you know? Like and then you immediately snap out of it as and it's like, why would I do that? Or when you see, when you see a horror movie or something and there's someone being tortured or whatever and an intrusive thought would be like, hmm, I wonder how that would feel and then you snap out of it immediately and it's like, it would feel bad, I wouldn't want that, what the frick, brain? You know? Um, that's what I consider an intrusive thought. But then what I'm talking about is basically like... Is basically like um, I watched American Psycho, right? And I really, really liked it. I thought it was a very well-made movie. I thought it was very good at like expressing the the kind of like themes that it wanted to express. And then I went into um, looking at video analysis of the uh, of the movie, and then that drove me to videos comparing the movie and the book. And then that drove me to realizing that the book has really cool, um, like in the in those videos analyzing the book, they mentioned really cool things like, oh, there's this one chapter that is one entire run-on sentence in which the um, the narration changes from pers first person to third person in the blink of an eye without any kind of warning to represent this or that, and it's like. That sounds like a very well-written book that knows what it's doing. However, then I uh, found out that it's also not just well-written for the themes that it's trying to express, but also extremely graphically violent to the point that some people say, I am not really someone squeamish, but this book made me squeamish, you know, things like that. And it's like, I'm not sure I can handle that. And then I read somewhere that like it has a couple of scenes that are just incredibly hard to get through. One of them including like brutal graphic murder of a child. And I'm like, ah, yeah, I really don't think I can read it. And my brain is like, read it. And I'm like, no, no, I really don't think I can take it. And my brain is like, but you want to see how it's well written, right? is well written and you want to see the, the the fine crafting of it right and you want to read that entire chapter that is one run-on sentence with the narration the narration changing person uh to represent the, the the climb down to insanity and blah 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 and it's like i've been struggling for days now with the temptation to do something that i know will harm me and i will not be happy about it uh, so out during your rumble? Yeah, that makes sense. Ellie Giggle, I'd say pretty rare, but I can imagine in my head I believe and yeah, it's pretty cute. You're imagining it! You don't even know! You don't even know! She guffaws a lot more than she giggles. What the freak is guffawing? What is a guffaw? Don't do it, says one voice in my mind. Do it. Eat it. Eat the whole roll, says another. There's others, but they mostly just tell me to burn stuff and touch the stove so I don't count them. Those uh, Touching the stove is definitely an intrusive thought. Uh, you're washing the dishes and your brain decides to hit you with, Hey, I bet it would taste like... Uh, I bet it would taste like this if you drank that water. Right? Those are intrusive thoughts. The, the, immediately you feel like gross. Right? That's what I feel. Okay. So let me let me try one thing. I want to try one thing. I want to try... Moving it to this palette, which is going to be very similar, but it's not going to be the exact same. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to try this color. 
Oh, that is absolutely not working. What about something a lot... Okay, wait a second. What about something like this? What do we feel about something like this? Something like an old dusty pink. How do we feel about it? And how do we feel about making the Bordeaux a little bit dustier too? How do I feel about making the... No, that wouldn't work because it suddenly wouldn't have any contrast. Yeah, no, it wouldn't work. But what do I feel about something like this? Um... Can you use your own tail as a pillow? Yes, yes, I absolutely can and I have and I will. Uh, now I have Bill Nye's old song about light and color in my head again. You're welcome! Uh, you hear that, Windows? Make everything dark mode. Hey, that is welcome! I love how you're doing! I hope you're having a good day! Also, yes, I do use dark mode on practically everything. That's why we should blot out the sun. Yeah, no, I like the sun on my skin. Thank you very much. I'll keep the sun. I'll keep the sun. I stare at the sun once, but I get blind for a few seconds. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't. Jesus was the avatar in multiple senses. The avatar? What are we talking about? Ellie, you can definitely improve faster drawing time and you know it. Like, instead of carefully coloring the cave since it's the most background thing, you can just frantically color it in. Except I couldn't because it's not really the most... Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it fucking is! I could have! See, I'm too dumb to notice those things! <laughs> um, since you've already put time in for perfecting line art, it should be easier to just use selection and fill colors in too. I don't normally like doing that because the uh, because of the edges. Because of the, the edges that are like... This kind of like edges that you get where if you use the selection, the selection will paint everything except the corner like that and you will get a very ugly mistakes if you're not careful. But now I have every flat in. All the flats are in. It's fine. It's fine. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to do we're going to do the pupil. We're going to do the eyes. We're going to do the eyes. Do you guys Do you guys think the silver could work? For this thing, for this things on the corset. What are we feeling about the colors? What are we feeling about the colors? We're gonna go with something like this, a little bit darker. We're gonna make it darker. We're gonna make it darker here. And, of course, darker here. Or should I go with gold? I think at this point gold might make more sense. Robot Chicken was like the original YouTube meme videos. Oh, I never heard of it. I shade using a shade color uh, and a rim color. Basically, I pick a color, dark red, and use it in a layer for shading. Then I multiply and control the opacity. Then do the same with the rim, but this uh, time use soft light or screen. I normally do uh, shading on every single color with different colors. I just feel more comfortable that way. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes I go in with just like one layer on multiply and some purplish color. And then I adjust based on um, how it's interacting with the other colors. But I do it all in one layer, but that's the minority of times. I think gold might look better, but I don't know if it makes it less vampiric. Like, I genuinely think it might ruin the vampire mood of it all. If I make it gold but i do think it looks nicer 
Uh, you have a viper tongue? Yeah, have you not seen it? Uh, this is for lazy shading. There are more in-depth ways of shading. Yeah, I normally don't do one multiply layer. I normally don't go that route. Where is my... Here we go, okay. Let's do a pupil. We're also gonna go with like... Actually, should I? Should I go with like... Normal pupil? Or should I go with uh... Like vertical pupil? Uh, sure even. I was waking up at 5 a.m. the next day and it was already starting late night by my standards Even before you said it actually starts an hour later. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't expect uh, Most people to make it because it was very different from my schedule. It was just a nice surprise if someone could Very sorry about the problem with the uh, time zones. It's not easy to Get everyone on the same page sometimes um, what do you mean with last chance? Dan C, welcome, hello, how are you doing? It's the last stream in which I get to work on this drawing. Everything else that I do on this drawing has to happen um, between tonight and tomorrow morning. Because after that, I'm going to be unable to work on this. And Halloween is like right here, right around the corner. So, it's it's gone. It's gone. All of my opportunities are gone if I don't take advantage of this time right now. This is my last chance to finish this. Um, she's about half an hour behind chat, so you'll have to wait for it to greet you. Shit! Am I that late with the chat? Nefer, welcome I Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. How's she a full half hour behind? Because I'm drawing while I talk and it's hard to pay attention to both things. Because I don't have um I don't have a second monitor. So in order to read the chat, I have to look down at my phone, which makes it very uh, annoying. <laughs> Makes it very annoying, makes it impossible to pay attention to both things at the same time. But welcome, welcome! I hope you enjoy your time here! Are snake tongues ambidextrous or do you tend to favor one side of the fork over the other? Um, it's mostly just the, 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 you use the top part almost like it wasn't bifurcated, but you use it a little bit, uh, like, you use more of the middle part of the tongue instead of the very, very tip. Yeah. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. John Colin, welcome. Hi, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. To be honest, the vampire drawing is definitely looking pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is a good question, and I can answer that for you. People with bifurcated tongues can be either or. A new girl with a bifurcated tongue, and she told me that. I normally just use it a little bit of, of, away from the tip. Uh, silver is a sanctified metal, which is why I probably shouldn't use it. I should probably use gold. Mystery of the Druids is a really high quality mystery thriller from 20 years ago. Definitely never heard of it. Um, silver is pure, that's why it hurts vampires and why they don't have reflections in old silver back mirrors. Funnily enough, that is not actually... Um, that is not actually very accurate to... How do I explain this? So like that bit of folklore isn't actually folklore and it was invented by Bram Stoker most possibly because it doesn't really make sense with the history at the time. Since at the time it was extremely rare to have uh, mirrors that were backed with pure silver. Silver was very expensive so it was more common to have mirrors that were backed with mixes of metals and therefore you wouldn't have uh, many, very many mirrors that would be pure silver. So a little fun fact, that is uh, courtesy of our boy Bram actually. So you're familiar with uh, VTM, Vampire the Masquerade and why a vampire would need to hide. I mean, it depends on the world. The world building. Shiny bunny, welcome. Hi, hello. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Even if no photos can be used on vampires, they're gone, instantly vanished. 
That is also not really accurate, uh, at least not anymore, because the reason vampires didn't show up in photographs was because of the photograph paper using metals um, in order to develop back then. But then again, they never used pure silver and definitely haven't used metals for a while now. Um, you should watch Robocop. Brie loved that one. It's her new favorite movie. I think I've seen it at least once. I just don't remember anything about it. John Arts Alfarius, welcome, guys. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I don't get those thoughts as I can change from normal to emotionless to cope with fear if I need to be, but Backlash Leader is bad. Yeah, Backlash is bad. Don't, don't just, don't just, uh, engage with those things if you can help it. It's, it's very sad to hear that you, you, you say that you can just, uh, change to emotionless because I would assume that then you have a very bad backlash to that. Don't, don't put yourself through that if you can avoid it. Uh, do you want to hear a horror story video I found? No, <laughs> I legitimately don't. I don't like horror, guys. You know, you know I don't. You know I don't. Um... Definitely gross, definitely. Yes, gross. The, drinking the, the dirty plate water? How would that not be gross? What are you talking about? Uh, you always revert to pink? Yeah, I know. I personally liked white. You did? You did. Uh, that pink just makes it look transparent on the cape. I don't think so, because like it doesn't make sense that it would be transparent on the skin. But I tried bronze or copper instead for the for the metal. Okay, let me make a palette for that. Bronze would be something like this. Oh, bronze is a difficult one. Bronze is not an easy color to make a palette for. I'm not sure this is gonna work for bronze, actually. I am not entirely sure. Hopefully it will. I'm not sure. I don't trust it too much. I really don't trust it too much. Eh, maybe. Maybe it does look like bronze a little bit. Um, an elusive Ellie tongue sighting. It doesn't need to be elusive. Gold would match well with the white. You guys like in the white. I hope next year you go as Yoshi. Yoshi from from Mario? Is that the Yoshi you're talking about? <laughs> that's not very that's not very spooky Halloweeny, is it? Um you mean you got the time wrong well everyone else got it right? Not really. I Okay, so I don't wanna call anyone out specifically, but one person got it wrong and wasn't ready at the time of the event, basically, is what happened. It was not me. I don't have problems with schedules since I used Time Buddy. Time Buddy is just like the godsend. If anyone ever needs to uh, organize times with anyone else, please just use Time Buddy. Time Buddy is like the freaking perfect system. I love it so very much. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about the colors? You don't need to apologize for time zone problems. Some things just can be skipped around and we can just deal with it. Unless you meant you misunderstood the time. No, not really. Um, I, I never misunderstand the times, thankfully, because I do have time buddy. But even so, uh, even though I praise it with every breathing second I have, 
It seems like not everyone uses it. Even after I say, hey, you guys should use time, buddy. It's gonna, it's gonna allow you to never make mistakes of time zones again. They, people don't use it. People don't use it sometimes. And they end up making time zone mistakes. Um... Night uh, in this world, which you're still uh, uh, to read, I'll remind you. Yeah, 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 but right now I'm reading uh, Dracula and I don't want to interrupt it with anything else, which is very stupid considering I'm only reading a few words per day and, need, and even then not every day. It's very silly, but uh, I, I need this. I, I really need this. <laughs> I like at 3am watching streams? Oh no, John! Well, I know that your your schedule migrates from day to night, so maybe it's not that bad. But I hope you're doing well. Uh, there was a vampire photographer who would die from the flash of old-timey cameras, but he carried a vial of blood around his neck, so when he got dusted, it'd break and he'd revive. That is really weird folklore. I've never heard of a vampire reviving from just being close to a vial of blood. That makes no sense, actually. That is really, really weird. Um, trick, bronze is like what you imagine gold to be. It's a little bit more to the brown side. Gold is whiter, bronze is oranger. That don't sound right. That don't sound right. That vampire was actually a black bander, meaning he rejected drinking blood and swapped uh, craving it, uh, craving for it with fascination with light, hence photography, except every flash kills him. What is this mythos? What is this mythos? How does it work? I've never heard of vampires reviving by just being clo in close proximity to blood instead of having to drink it. Tiara says, welcome, hi, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I think it would look good with the, without the dusty pink color on clothes. You're thinking we should go back to white? You're thinking it would go, we should go back to white? I'm struggling to do a slithered pupil. Damn. Slithered pupil. Oh, I know why I'm fucking struggling. Excuse me. Excuse my swearing. There we go. That's easier. Ellie, you have been reading Dracula for half a year now. It's a book the students read in like two classes. Yeah, 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 because I'm using the system Dracula Daily, where you read what happened in the a specific day that it happened in the book. So like the story of Dracula, the last thing that happens in Dracula happens on November 7th, I think. Um, and so right now, we are in the absolute last stretch where we're gonna be getting one email every single day until it's over, over. Uh, and that is, I cannot, I cannot tell you my excitement about it. I'm so very excited about it. I am so happy that I did this little experiment thing because it's, it's been such an experience. It's been such a wonderful experience that it's kind of like one once in a lifetime because I'll never get to read Dracula for the first time, right? And I'll never get to read a book that is like such a classic, such a such a well-trusted story, you know? Okay. Uh and now I move this. There we go. We're gonna try the slit pupils. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna like them, if I'm gonna like them, but we're gonna try them. Um, you understand why I asked you to start posting the waiting room a day in advance now, don't you? No. I don't... I don't think so. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, I made no progress in my drawing. That is okay. That is alright. 
it's all right what what happens happens listen sometimes i also don't make progress for hours and hours and hours you can't choose it it has to happen or you know sometimes it just gets harder okay it's not that bad it's not that bad it's interesting it's interesting um it's not mythos it's this world well and uh not close proximity every time he'd turn into ash from light a vial of blood he wears his necklace would break against the ground and spray the ash reviving him so it's not close proximity it's just it's by touch that is still very weird because it's not drinking exactly it would be like spreading it on his skin if he had any skin right and it's not mythos is from this world oh well if it's not a mythology thing a folklore thing an author can do whatever the fuck they want with with their own story and world building yeah the fourth tongue gives extra emphasis to the f why would it f is then with the lips what do you mean? My bronze is typically oranger. More rugged bronze looks darker, but when polished, it's basically what you think gold looks like. You know, I may never have seen polished, like, brand new polished gold. I'm good and on break from school. I hope you're enjoying your break, John. I guess my weekend classes are my last chance of getting this drawing done. I wanted it to be a super amazing thing that I draw for the whole month. Which is what I ended up doing. I ended up doing this thing for the entire month. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it is what ended up being. I am going to do a blood layer as well. I have this one, so I might as well call it blood. And do a blood layer to start, like, planning where I want it to be. I'm not entirely sure how I want to tackle the blood. I'm not sure I want to draw it. Um... So, basically, I've seen a lot of blood drawings in blood that have, like, smears of blood. But I'm not sure I can pull that off. You know, like, like, just... Because that would need to... I would need to find, like, a good reference of what does it actually look? Does it look like it's splattered? Does it look like it's moved with a finger should it look like it's like like it's moved around by the claws what should it look like um youtube will tell you the stream time in your local time zone yeah but since my stream time is always the same time i think it's i think it's kind of important when you have special streams i would say you know special times um, it was so I would know it's the exact time the stream starts because YouTube tells you the stream in your local time zone. I think, uh, since I always do it at the same time, isn't it always, like, easy to know? Fox, welcome! Hi, hello! It's been a while! How are you doing? Hey, welcome! I hope you're having a good day. And now you made me think, why did snakes decide to do an S sound? It's... It's 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 a, a, a vibration in the air kind of thing. It's a vibration in the air kind of thing because it's 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 not exactly an S. It's just what you guys hear with your human ears. You know, uh, your drawing looks as good as I imagined my whole month project to look. Aww, you really think so? I'm so glad to that you think that i'm so glad to hear that it means a lot it means a lot because i i really been struggling <laughs> i was really hoping for more than okay if i catch my step on the weekend i can draw something okay in two days but i was really hoping for more than okay well maybe you can do it for next year or for holiday for uh sorry for christmas or you know for any other time of the year even if it's not halloween anymore you could do it even if it's not Halloween. Mm. Mm. Uh, 
wasn't used to the schedule and you didn't have your community page yet. Oh, that! You mean early on! You mean early on! Uh, busy schedule and like, I'm not catching the... Not sure what to call it. I keep re redoing the same lines and I just and it just isn't it. Uh, you know... Sometimes it's very hard to actually get what you what you envision in on the paper. And if it's not working, sometimes it's better to just let it go and revisit it later. Oh, doing blood socks, dude! It's really hard to come up with like an organic shape that looks like a splatter. I'm gonna have to put myself in an FBI watch list and look for, like, blood spatter pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that one thing that authors and artists do that uh, turns a couple of heads when you see your Google history. And it's like, pictures of blood dripping. Pictures of blood on skin. Pictures of blood smeared across a face. Uh, it's basically Ellie's whole month project too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you spit out Bemem? Not spit it out, no. I can uh, produce it, but I spit it out like, like a projectile? No. No, I can't. Also, I guess the tongue should be a little bit red, shouldn't it? Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm gonna focus on the eyes. What do I feel about the pupils? What do I feel about the color? I don't know what to do about the color. I kind of like this one. But I kind of don't. I kind of like this one. The, this, this color. And I kind of don't. I actually like it, but you guys don't. I like it, but you guys don't exactly do. So let me check, let me check, uh, what if I did? What if I did it a little bit darker? Which clashes with the other one, but what if I did this? Less Bordeaux and more like pure red. Oh hell. Ah, freak! No, wait! Okay. It needs to be darker for sure. Okay, so that is a pure, a more pure red. Um, it's hard to figure out the time zone for anyone in any time zone, but the ones you post on the schedule. Again! Time Buddy is a freaking godsend. If you want to see how the physics were, you should drip some chocolate syrup on your pillows. <laughs> does it have the same? Does it have the same consistency as blood, though? And also, how would you know that? It's a very sus kind of thing to know if you knew that it that it does. Huh? This is badly painted. Why? Anyways. Anyways, that's fine. Uh, 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 I do like this palette. I do kind of like this color. The rest of the searches can be explained away, Miss Nikos, but how do you explain all the searches with she deserve it in them? What do you mean she deserves it? I, what? What? What kind of search would that be? Uh, it's close enough. They used to use chocolate syrup to represent blood in movie making in the black and white days. Oh, damn! So it must have like a close enough physics, huh? Must be close enough then. Alright, let me try one thing though. Let me try one thing. What if... I did make the dress white... I'm gonna save this color for then. Gonna save that. And what if I did keep this white? Or an off-white in any case. An off-white with a little bit of dusty pink. Yeah. 
you know, something, something that's not entirely pure white. With, uh, dusty pink for the sleeves. Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot that the, the, all of the white is on the same layer. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. That's wrong. Wait, that's wrong. Ninety, ninety-five value. Ninety, ninety-five values. Three saturation blue, blue tones. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, that's better. That's better. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that how, how, how are we feeling about that nipper i'm back welcome back also since before i couldn't say hello properly because i was very behind in chat welcome welcome i hope you enjoy your time here welcome to the channel hi i hope you're having a good day that's what the fbi wants to know you said it officer that's what i want to know welcome to the bottom of the chat snake thank you thank you um are you sure that the suits halloween will satisfy you ellie absolutely not nothing will ever satisfy me i am a perfectionist um i think they use corn syrup as the base for modern fame blocking film and that's the same base chocolate syrup uses i don't even know if i have corn syrup honestly I don't even know. I don't even know. Those are not normal eyes there, Yandere. No, they're not. Okay. So, here's the thing. Yandere is an archetype of a character. They tend to use things like crazy eyes. But crazy eyes are not exclusive to Yandere's. Uh, I think I'm giving up for today. We'll try to draw uh, after work today. And if not, then the weekend is my last hope. I'm hoping that you have good luck on that. I'm wishing you good luck. Is that off-white better for the dress? Here's here's the two options. Here's the two options so far. I don't I don't mind either of them. I don't mind either of them. I think it's kind of nice. Let me check something a bit stronger for the color of the sleeves, something like that. Since it's on screen, maybe we could go fully, like, 90%. Maybe screen is the wrong... Maybe screen is the wrong... Oh, yeah, baby! Multiply. I'm liking the multiply. I am liking the multiply instead. Let me go to the other one and do a multiply, too. Since it's white, it doesn't look all that good. White looks better with other layer modes. Not necessarily multiply. So the white does look better with screen. But the, the Bordeaux really definitely shines with the multiply. Second one is much better, you think so? You think so? Tomorrow's Skullgirl sounds exciting though. Robo Fortune and Annie at Assume plus one tutorial sounds reasonable. Uh, as long as Robo Fortune isn't uh, long. <laughs> because last time we thought we were gonna get to Robo Fortune. And no, not at all. There's nothing I'm or Yangira about this drawing. Exactly, exactly. I already said a few times that I like the white. But it, okay, is this is this good enough? Because I did change the white to be very, very off-white. Do you guys like it like this? Or should it be even whiter? Because you guys were going for white. And then not necessarily white. This is like... Off-white towards pink. Maybe, maybe like that. Maybe whiter. And maybe now we do try gold. For this, we can try gold again for the accessories. And I think after this tryout of the of the freaking colors, I think I want a break from thinking, and I think I'm just gonna paint the skin, which is second nature to me by now. It's just something I can do without thinking about it.
Yeah, I like the gold. I like the gold in this in this color palette. Oh shit, wrong layer. Wait, give me a second. I think I like it. I think I like it. Uh, this slightly wider works too? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Can I go? Welcome, I hello, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day! Welcome! Also, this, I think this is the first time I see you in chat, so welcome, welcome! I hope you're having a good day and that you enjoy it here! Um... I really like the rusty pink, I never heard of that color before. The reddish sleeves look pretty good, actually. I think so too, I think I like the reddish sleeves. Rubble Fortune is about the base game length. Okay, so it should be achievable. Uh, I need some part with the DLC length, though, so probably not. <laughs> so probably not. I, vo I vote for I vote for cow pattern milkies. That is never that is never an option, and it's not going to be. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. Okay, let's paint the skin. I think this is gonna, it's gonna stay colors wise. I think it's good. I think that color is good. And we're gonna go for painting the skin. I'm gonna start with the blush. I know technically it's like, oh, vampires are undead, so she shouldn't have any blush because blush is blood going through the veins and whatever. It's just a costume. I'm not actually undead, so I'm still, I'm still alive. And I'm still gonna have blush. I'm still gonna have blush because come on, what are you talking about? I'm not I'm not truly dead. Uh, I'm gonna have some blush here. Gonna have some blush and the hands and the tips of the fingers. Gonna have some blush on the ear. Really love my ear blush. Gonna make the blush. I really love blush. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is this is like my first time drawing boobas that are this visible. So I'm not sure how people handle booba blush. I know that there's some blush in the boobas normally. But I'm not sure where it's supposed to be. I think I'm gonna have to look for references later. So properly do the blush. She's still blushing to see you. Ooh. I mean, I am still alive. It's just, it's just a costume. Um, I'm not yet played Umbrella, so next week I will be going into it blind with you. Nice! You're such the you're such an expert! I can't believe we're gonna get to this to discover something together! That is cool! Really like the design of the sleeves? I really like how they came out, yeah. I really like how they came out. Um, depends on how recently she fed. Good point. Good point. Ellie's a poser? Absolutely. I'm not a real vampire. I'm not I'm no not ashamed to say it. But if you're trying to, if you're trying to out me to a group of vampires, I would kill you on the spot. <laughs> like, how dare you? Okay, let's make a layer for hard shadows. And we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab, we're gonna grab this color. I already had a palette. Why did I not respect it? There we go. There we go. gonna grab that we're gonna do a hard shadow we're gonna clean this we're gonna grab these we're gonna do a hard shadow Well, I'm gonna fix that in a second. 
I'm going to fix that in a minute. We're going to not think about it too much. I don't want to think about it too much. I'm trying this new thing with coloring, which is like, you just do and then you can fix. Because uh, normally I agonize during the coloring stage. It's one of the parts that I enjoyed the absolute least. Because I think for so long before being able to do anything. And realistically, like, the way I paint my layers, if something is wrong, I can fix it without any hassle later. So instead of dreading it, I'm trying to enjoy it a little bit more by not thinking about what I'm doing and just doing. And then I'll see, I'll see the result when it's, when everything's said and done. And then if I hate it, I can fix it. But that way I'm hoping to remove the dread that I feel normally when I'm tackling the colors. Uh, a bum poser if you will! We're a bum poser! Uh, isn't vampire basically a humanoid mosquito? They have to store the blood they eat somewhere until it's digested. I guess so? Also, being able to make vampires blush sounds like quite a feat. I mean, they don't have blood. I don't think- I don't think they can just circulate it. it wouldn't it be on their stomach? Booba blush? Yeah, booba blush. I think there's booba blush in, in, in normal, like, drawings. I don't- I don't watch- I don't look at enough pictures of the caliber to know that is my problem right now uh that sounds sus say oh not that word i never say it you don't need to say it i can say it well blush depends on what you want i generally color the sides and the in between it's called flushing and it occurs during well arousal <laughs> I'm still, I'm still gonna skirt around that word. I know that I say the F word as if it was candy, but that is a culture thing, okay? That is just a cultural thing. Sammy, welcome, I hello! Cool kid VR, welcome, I hello! I guess before you couldn't see when I said hello because I got to you so late, but welcome, I hope you're having a good day! Um... From the early stages of development, the devs, I do not know if it was Alex or after, said that to piece together the canon timeline, Umbrella, Black Dahlia, and Marie stories are needed. So there is going to be one canon timeline then. That is, an, that is a confirmation. That is an important confirmation that I don't think we had before. Uh, for Hard Shadows, we need this. For sure. And we need some shadows in here. And I guess some shadows in here? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna think about it, okay? We're not gonna think about it too much. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do and see where that leads. We're just gonna do and don't worry about it. She says, so she definitely worries about it. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do... What else are we gonna do? We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do... what else? In terms of, of hard shadows... Hard shadows that we are going to blur away anyways. We are definitely going to blur away the hard shadows, quote unquote. But still... Um... It will be super cool to make my first dive into this foretold trinity of stories with you. Oh my god, I thought you knew everything about the game. That is so exciting. Who enjoys coloring? Worst part of drawing. I don't know. A lot of people hate other parts 
more. I personally hate coloring way more than anything else. Anything else is manageable in comparison to coloring, to be completely honest. I, I should do a couple courses. To be honest, like, that is the part that I've kind of, like, studied the least. I think I'll probably get a lot less stressed out over coloring when I do a couple classes, you know? Um, I guess I'm done. Really dumb Dodo, but on brand with me. Hey, that's cool. I mean, you did something. You didn't need to, so... Even if it's dumb, who cares? A familiar, if you will? I don't think I don't think that one was good. I think the the bomb poster was better. You can do better. You can do better, officer. You can do better. I enjoy coloring though. For the sake of saving time, I rarely do it manually. Create has an option to just uh, mark what shapes are to be filled with each color. I think I could probably do that here too. It's just that I'm I get very nervous about doing big color blocking like that instead of manually doing it, you know? We're gonna do... We're gonna do... We're gonna leave it like that for now. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the eyes, maybe? Maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of the eyes? Gonna put both of these on the hair folder. I'm gonna put a multiplier layer on top. I'm gonna grab a color, like a deep purple and I'm gonna do definitely not deep purple definitely not deep purple let's check a blue instead mm, no no let's check a red that's better That's better for that shadow. Now we just gotta shape it. Now we just have to shape it. Okay, so we're gonna do... We're gonna copy the shape of the skirt, but without going too crazy about it. It doesn't need to be exactly the same, as long as it's recognizably kind of like similar. We're gonna blur it out anyways. Uh -uh. Let's clean it up a little bit. Just like make that straighter, make that a nicer curve. Let's do this as a nicer curve as well. And let's do this as a straighter thing. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Maybe this could be better. Uh, maybe this needs to be a little bit to the side because everything's a little bit moved to the left. And so maybe this... We can copy that shape. And now this kind of needs to move up because everything else is a little bit thinner. And we are going to blur that later, but for now this is fine. We can we can stay like that for now. Um uh uh, uh. Continue some videos? What video? Videos of what? Wait, what videos of, of what? Eight minutes? Wait, have I already been two hours in? This is already two hours in? Oh no, reply hi or konnichiwa. Konnichiwa! Cool kid. If I say that word, I sauce myself for it. I actually did write my own idea of how Schoolgirls 1 could end canonically, but my version was flawed by believing that Schoolgirls 2 would avoid repeating any playable cast. Then fighting game players inform me that would be very dumb for the devs and they will very much want to reuse most of the cast? I guess so, I guess so. Liar, familiar. Vam liar, vam liar, not familiar, vam liar. 
Okay, that is good. I, 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 I take back my chastisement. You were doing better. It was my, it was my brain not doing you any good. I apologize. It was my bad, indeed. Uh, so my take basically combined all of the outcomes that killed off or resolved character stories to give them reason to not be in two, which is an opposite of what devs would want. That makes sense though, because I guess I guess people would expect to have the same characters as well, because like people would expect to maintain what they liked maining. I would assume. Yes, yeah, so cool. Welcome. Hello, Elisa, darling. The vampire is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Love this art already. It needs a little bit of work, but honestly, it's getting there. It's getting there, and uh, I don't mind how it's going. I don't mind how it's going as far as time goes. Now that I now that I got it here, I think I'm going to be able to deal with the rest. I think I'm going to be able to deal with it. No, that needs to be a lot darker. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so we're gonna do this, then we're gonna make it darker, then we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do... this and then I'm gonna throw a little bit of blue in there okay okay uh, what if I made this Yeah, no, I think that's better. That's a little bit, a little bit stronger. I think this needs to be even darker. I think we need an, an even darker gradient. And I think I want a little bit of an, a light area at the bottom. Maybe with some golden yellow. Because in, in Dracula, at least, a lot of the times where the characters are seeing, uh, are seeing a vampire, like, before they are willing to accept that what they're seeing is a supernatural phenomenon, a lot of the times they're like, oh, the eyes looked red in the light of the lamp, like, they were reflecting the fire of the lamp, or things like that. So I think the red of vampire eyes should look a little bit like fire. It should be something you can, like, when your mind doesn't want to accept something, it will come up with explanations, right? And in Dracula, the explanation that the minds come up with is always like, oh, it was reflecting the fire, making the eyes look red. It was totally not actually red eyes, though, because that doesn't exist in reality, <laughs> you know? That kind of si that kind of situation, that kind of feeling. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for eyes that would be a little bit on the fiery side. Um. Uh, the part you are doing now is my favorite bit of the drawing. To be honest, I have a lot of trouble matching the colors, but I like how the drawing comes alive with the shadows. It's not my favorite part. I actually really struggle with the shadows every goddamn time. Uh, the eyes, what I'm doing right now, the eyes, that's where I actually enjoy. Seriously, do tell me how you make liner this good when you have time. Um, basically, a good brush 
and uh, a lot of you wanna you wanna see how I do line art? Just watch the stream where I did the line art for the arms, and that is basically how I did the rest of the line art, uh, which is why it took me a bazillion years. Like, if you wanna see how freaking slow and painful the process is for me, it's it's literally just that one stream of me spending two hours on the lines for the arms but all the time constant constant no breaks it's just that all the time okay uh i need another layer for adding depth i'm gonna do another layer out out depth i'm gonna do this color again where am I gonna put it? Where did I put it? Did I put it on top of the light? Possibly. Okay, that's going well. Not sure how I'm feeling about it, but it is, uh, you know, it's, it's going. Uh, three hours, let's go. We're not gonna do three hours. We're not gonna do three hours, but I do want to kind of finish the eyes or at least take them to a place where I'm like, yeah, wait, that was seriously two hours. Feels like maybe an hour. I know, right? For reference of blushing, I would accept references, yes, but do not put them on the public channels on Discord if they're not safe for work. Just uh, let's be very careful with that, please. Um... I will rest up now, so goodbye guys, also your drawing is amazing. Goodbye Zario, have a good night! I usually zone out a little during the talk streams. Uh, I'm just hanging out with you rather than focusing on the screen, but yeah, we'll rewatch that one for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just saying like, if you want, I could tell you exactly what I do, but you can also see it like absolutely in action 100% in that one stream, uh, because that is exactly what happens fully every time like fully every time that is what happens uh, I'm not super sure about this so let me just redo it so I think what I need to do is a little bit there Like, slight, slightly more subtle, you know? Okay, I think that's going well. Now I want to add... I'll finish the eyes and then I'll go. Uh, now I want to add glossiness. We're gonna go with a blue, kind of. We're gonna see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty... That looks pretty good. do this you can do this you can get a good shape you can get a good shape can we get a good shape can we like that shape actually I think I'm gonna do what I normally do and manually shape it into something else like a a designed a shape that is a little bit more 
Oh, my normal, my normal shape of like lines. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end up doing. I think I'm gonna end up like throwing those. I'm just not entirely sure I like how it l looks with the slit pupil. But I think we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna do another layer of little shinies. I'm gonna grab a scatter brush. I'm gonna use a spray. I'm gonna use a yellow. Not that spray, ha ha ha. Not that spray either. Maybe something like that. Oh, that's too big! Wait, 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 wait. Spacing. A lot more spacing, scattering, a lot more scattered, size jitter, a lot more size jitter, angle jitter, angle. I think I'm gonna have to do them manually, which is very annoying. I don't like having to do little sparks manually it's annoying as all hell uh... yeah i'm gonna have to do them manually god damn it where's luminosity luminosity yeah it doesn't work okay take two we're gonna do the exact same shit but instead of doing it with a scatter brush we're gonna do it Manually! My favorite freaking thing to do! Okay. Um. If you have the time, I'd appreciate both being told and seeing it. Okay, so basically, it's a lot of Ctrl Z action. Um, I, I do fluid motions better than, uh, like, what you want is to combine three things. You want to combine fluid motions that give you the line pretty much exactly as you want it with uh, erasing to get the line to be like... What you want is to not do hairy lines. You call hairy lines the lines that like you build on short strokes you want to have longer strokes i freaking hate doing this manually bro i hate it so much okay let's do one there and one here and now we do okay okay now we change the brush and we do one there one there okay okay so far so good uh let's do a spark there and there uh, let's, where are it? Let's do another spark right there. And there. That's looking fine. That's looking fine. We're gonna do one more there and there. And now we're gonna do another layer, also shade and shine with a different color. We're gonna do pure white. We're gonna do here and here and here. Here, I'm gonna do two. There and there. And we're gonna do. Maybe we're gonna leave it at that. Maybe we're gonna leave it at that. I think I might leave it at that. It's a really weird eye for what I'm used to doing. Um, but I, what can I say? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it should be special. I'm feeling like it should not be what I normally do. 
Although I will repeat some things that I do every time for sure. It's just like what I like doing. We're gonna grab a normal layer and do a little dot right there in the center. We're gonna blur it. Just like that. I don't know if I like that dot, actually. I normally really do like doing the little pupil dot. Oh, maybe I need to move it around. Yeah, that could look fine. I think maybe the pupil is wrong. Maybe. Maybe there's something about its placement that I don't like. Yeah, but that's good. I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. And now I can do the highlights and see how I feel about it later. <laughs> I can do the highlights and stuff and see and see what I think later on. Although for that, I need to grab the whites and do these thing here. Give me a second. I'm gonna go for 10 and 91. I'm gonna do... No, 90. I'm gonna do top here. Top there. I'm gonna do blur. And now the highlight is gonna really pop against that or at least pop better. Yeah, boy. It's probably not looking great, but... Yeah, I assumed as much. I assumed as much. We can move this. I'm so close to done, you guys. I will I will be done and catching up. Nick Nitro Sultan! Anna! Oh my god, why is everyone getting here at the same time? Oh Farsi! Welcome! Hi, how are you guys doing? Ah, I'm trying to finish! Ah! Welcome! How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a good day! Hello! I was trying to rush to the end of the stream, but now everyone's here. Now we feel bad. Hi, guys. <laughs> also, Alfarisi and Silton, have I seen you before here? Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time in the channel. Welcome, hi. I hope you're having a good day. I don't think I've seen you before. That looks a little bit better. I'm not entirely comfortable with that, but it is a little bit better. But I think I'm gonna change it anyways because I'm not super into that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the sides. We're gonna swap the sides. I'm gonna do this on this side so that I can do it like similarly on both. It's not working. Why is it not freaking working? What did I do? Okay, that's better. That is definitely better. It's more fixable, at least. It's 
still something off, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna move it a little bit more like here. Um, did it come in near the end? Yes, supposedly, but who knows? We were trying to finish the eyes and go. Like, we were trying to finish after the eyes. She's in outer space right now. You'll have to wait for it to get back down. No, I was just trying to finish the eyes. A lot of contrasty action describes digital drawing really well. Um, hey, what's up? Have you heard of Portably Plus? No, I have not. What is it? Um, uh, does in fact look great, not quite rushing. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. It's okay. Portable is a horror game created by Lumpy Touch. No, I haven't because I don't follow horror games. I don't like horror games, so probably probably because of that. I think I'm getting reconciled with a brush I used first after playing a bit with Krita. Feels cleaner than the one I have been using recently after all. A good brush is literally half the battle though. So if you find a brush that you like, that is going to help you enormously. Okay, I think... I think I'm not gonna do a bottom highlight. Because I'm not feeling super good about it. I think I'm gonna leave it without. I don't know. No, I'm gonna leave it with. I can't I can't resist. I can't resist a double highlight. Double highlight is a way of life. Okay, and that will be it for now. I still haven't colored that stupid eyebrow. Can you believe? Can you believe? Gimme, give gimme give that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here? Okay, perfect. We're gonna do it here. Quick, one and done. That's it. Whatever, eyebrow done. Okay. And this would be it for the eyes. Of course, that's not entirely it because I need to do another layer here where I'll grab a color like this and I'll do this this thing here, you know? The, the sort of like shine that you do on the eyelashes because it makes it look very pretty. But uh, that's gonna be at some other point. That's gonna be at some other point. I also have to like do a little bit of a little bit of this, a little bit of airbrushing the corners of the eye, just like that. We can figure, I can figure that out on my own later, uh, but the eyes would be done. I would say the eyes are done, and I would say that is, um, that is not bad for the progress. Because I, I figured out the colors, I have all the flats, I have the eyes entirely done, and I started placing some heart shadows. Now, it's just a matter of, like, giving everything those soft shadows that I normally do and keep going with the hard shadows. And to finish, like, the gems, just like I did the eyes, I'm gonna do a lot of, like, bazillion layers of lights and shadows and giving it depth and giving it shine and everything. Uh, and then I have to Google blot splatters <laughs> for references! <laughs> But overall, hey, this is not bad. Overall, this is not bad. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty good. Skin color hair looks pretty interesting, actually. Uh, I think it would, like, miss. Let me see what you mean. Let me see what you mean. I guess so, but it would miss any element of contrast. It would be kind of on the sad side. I think, I would say. But anyways, yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it for now. I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna finish it on my own in between tonight and tomorrow morning. <laughs> pretty good progress, to be honest. Yeah, I would say so. I would say it's pretty good progress because choosing the colors, doing all the floods, organizing all the layers and doing the entirety of the eyes and then the rest of it is not... The, the only part that might take me a little while longer is the hair because it's always a struggle 
But because it's not long hair, I think it's going to be easier. When you have hair that is like in an updo and you have like shorter hair, it's easier to paint in my opinion. So this is a Vampire Lamia. Yes, it is. This is a Vampire Lamia indeed. Hopefully it's very easy to tell that we're going for Vampire. It's coming along pretty nice. Thank you. I think so too. I think so too. Let's go to the to the chatting stream real quick. Uh, so we can probably wrap up with me being able to read your messages better and stuff. But yeah, thank you for being here. Rancor, as I was saying with the with the lines, you just want to get used to doing longer lines instead of hairy little short strokes. Because when you have a longer line, it's gonna be more consistent. Not necessarily, but what you want is to exercise a strong stroke with a consistent weight, basically. Bye, Alicia. Goodbye, Jonas. And hello, because I hadn't seen you before. I think you arrived at the end now. Uh, I hope you're having a good day, Jonas. Um, and I hope you have a good rest of the night. I joined when it's ending. No, Astroman. Everyone joined today when I was ending. That makes me sad. That makes me kind of sad. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I know that I'm slow when drawing, but you know, you know. Uh, I am actually very proud of how it's coming out. And that matters. That really matters. Um, okay. Uh, uh, um. The biggest question after today is whether the tablet is getting the yeet or not. No, 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 no. It's not. Because honestly, I don't have a lot left. After doing all of these, uh, particularly when having done the eyes, which are completely 100% done, the uh, skin only needs a little bit of soft shading. And then everything else is gonna take... It would take maybe another stream or some amount of time like that. Which is very doable in one morning. Which is what I said. I need to be able to finish it tomorrow morning. I'm pretty certain that I can finish it tomorrow morning. Um, eye colors are pretty uh, cool too. I do not really have a solid understanding on how to do it. I thought I did until my first time. I just couldn't make it work. But again, the results are so cool. I like things that you do... Uh, that gratification of changing a flat color into something super cool looking in a short period of time. I guess I do like that bit, how gratifying it feels to hide all of the layers and see the flats and go like, whoa, the difference is outstanding. But it's such a pain in most cases. The only part that I enjoy fully is the eyes. Everything else is like, it takes me so much effort to get it to look non-flat. Um... Uh, 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 then the people who arrived and I said hello, but unfortunately you came at the end. I'm so sorry. Uh, I think it, buh, 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 buh. might as well go for another half hour at this rate. Uh, we're, we have about five minutes to finish the wrapping up. <laughs> I don't even remember why I finished using this brush, to be honest. Two hours and 40 minutes is the normal Ellie stream time. It is kind of like my normal. It is kind of my normal. I do wish I could scale it back to two hours. But I'm also not super desperate. I just don't want my normal to become three. I really don't want my normal to become three hours. But two hours and a bit, I think it's okay. Good thing that she starts the stream half an hour earlier this month. Uh, an, an entire hour earlier. I've moved the entire thing one hour. Um... I do hope we keep this schedule. Wonder how the others are feeling on it. But for me, it has been great. I think I'm gonna keep it. Here's the thing, both schedules have um, an advantage for me. One of them allows me to not be rushed for the beginning of the stream. The one that I had before basically had me not rushed for the beginning. Um, and this schedule allows for an easier cooking dinner experience, basically. Because I don't have to like finish the stream, then have a tea, and then as soon as I finish the tea while it's still freaking... Like, what I still have the flavor on my tongue, start cooking dinner. Um, it allows me to have a little bit of a separation between those two things, which is more satisfying because I don't have like 
I don't have tears in my eyes and the smell of onion while still kind of like processing the tea flavor and stuff. Um, it was a okay, cake, girl. Thank you, Anna. I'm really sorry that you got here uh, like at the end, but but thank you for being here. Um, let's go to the chatting stream after the chatting stream. Well, technically it was an art stream, but yeah, it's kind of chatting. It's kind of chatting. Uh, bye, Elysium. Bye, little ghost. Oh, you like the little ghost? Uh, it's like a whole chat full. It's like a whole chat full of me. Eh? I don't understand that. It's a good thing I'm already in a casket because I'm going to be dead after I force myself to be awake for the next 12 hours. I really, really, really hope that it works for you because, like, that's the point. The point is that hopefully it will work uh, to, like, give you the results that you need. Uh, don't be afraid to take a quick 20 minute nap if you are falling apart. It shouldn't mess you up that much if you respect the 20 minutes. Um, bye everybody, bye another! There's a, there's a nightmarish thought. What is a nightmarish thought? I meant an hour, seems my brain is slowly giving up. Good thing it's Friday tomorrow. Yeah, good thing it's Friday tomorrow, but you still have one more day of, of working, right? So that you can have that, uh, that third, uh, three, three day long weekend. I mean, you of course should say uh, with what you feel the most comfortable with, but in my experience, two hours is very short of a stream time. I say, even though I could barely survive streaming 90 minutes, I find it short in the sense that I always want to keep chatting more and I keep I want to keep wrapping up instead of rushing. Um, but realistically, I wanted my streams to be two hours instead of two hours and a half for several reasons. I've stated them many times. I don't want to keep repeating myself. <laughs> You can always get this, not cook with onion. Tiberian, what the fuck? How could you say that? Of course I cannot. Onion is the bare, onion is the, the, the skeleton of any meal. Onion and garlic, without onion and garlic, are you even cooking? Without onion and garlic, do you even have any flavor? What, what flavor do you have if you don't have onion and garlic? Huh? Lemon, fucking lemon, citrus? Acid? No. You need onion. You need onion. Uh, what I'm saying is keep whatever length you're feeling with, but three hours would not be bad from our side. But yeah, if that's something you have a problem with, it's 100% fine. I think one of the reasons I personally enjoy um, streams that are uh, on the two hours kind of mark is because as a watcher, as someone who watches streams and, and essays and whatever, I prefer the sh not shorter, but once I see that a stream is more than two hours, it becomes kind of like... Oh, okay, let me clarify. Because I'm a big VOD watcher as well, I am very much into watching VODs. Not necessarily go crazy about catching things live. Um, but when I watch VODs, I find myself more interested in things that are going to be two hours or less. Because it's like... I could be watching a movie of the length of a longer VOD, you know, and 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 stuff like that. It just makes it easier to make the compromise to click on something that is going to last two hours and something that's going to last more. And because that's how I am as a watcher, that's kind of like what I kind of wanted to be. I said kind of way too many times on that sentence. I'm sorry. That's kind of what I am as a watcher. And so, therefore, that's what I planned for myself as a maker. Yeah, there we go. I only said kind of once that time. Uh, because I show up to two thirds of the streams just in time to hear goodbye. You're right, that used to happen a lot, but it's not happening anymore. It's not happening anymore lately. Have you noticed, officer? Lately you've been you've been here from from pretty early on. At least we got Tuesday off. Alright, because you're in the same country, Heritage! You guys are both from the same country, right? So you both have the same day off. Thank you for the drawing stream. Thank you for being here, Sario. Four day long weekend with holiday on Tuesday, but I'm just gonna toss materials real late, uh, late tomorrow. No particularly difficult work. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, onions are spooky and hiding inside of us all? No. 
onions are the, the thing that supports the entire dish. Onion overrated. It spoils the food. How dare you? You do not indeed need onion. How dare you, Fox? How could you say something like that? I will take that as a personal offense. Um, I mean, you could shove it in there, but it's not necessary. I do not use onion nor garlic in pretty much any of my recipes. Who are you? What is wrong with you? You can get a whole rack full of different spices. None of them are as good as having good ingredients, you pleb. What are you talking about? Onion and garlic are like the freaking... It's a, the foundation of a good meal. I'm also a VOD watcher. My Oshi and you are pretty much the only two cases where I watch live. Oh, that's an honor. That is such an honor. I don't have time to watch VODs anymore. Plus too many VTubers to keep track of. I understand that. I understand that. You've got things to do and only so many hours in which to do them. Yep, exactly. Finish your stream now. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay, I'll finish. I'll finish. I prefer watching live VTubers because what's the point of this live cartoon thing if you can't interact with her? I don't know. I just, I enjoy the entertainment aspect uh, even if, if it's not about interaction. Uh, and yeah, my perception on stream times is pretty much opposite of yours. If it's on the shorter side, I must really be interested in the topic. Longer streams are my jam. Damn, really? Holy shit. That is absolutely the opposite of how my brain works. Hurricane messed up with my sleep schedule beneficially for once. I hope that it's not messing up your life in general. Um, okay. Uh, now that is a rare sight. Yeah, I don't get angry too often. But now you guys are insulting garlic and onion. How freaking dare you? You, 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 you heretics. Okay. Uh, but onion is a bad ingredient. Don't lump it with the good stuff like garlic. I will... I will personally murder you. I will personally break your kneecap. But that's gonna have to be another day because for now we're going to stop the stream. Thank you everyone so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you had a good day. I'm not gonna break this freaking nail cutter. Not again. I can't do that. I can't go through that again. Not even once. Uh, that's okay. Next week I'm gonna have a new fidget toy. So, thank you everyone for being here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I finish this tomorrow. <laughs> Cause I don't want to. I don't have to eat. I don't want to have to eat my tablet. Um, but I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. I hope that you sleep very well and rest very well when you do. Um, and don't forget to stretch. Don't forget to drink water. Don't forget to try to sleep seven to nine hours and eat nutritiously. And most important of all. Be kind to yourself and others. All right. Take care, stay shifters. Bye bye. <laughs>